Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I've got a pretty awesome camper for you. As you can see, uh, it's the Delterra East to West, or I, I apologize. It is Delterra, which is made by East to West, a subdivision of Forest River RV. But it is the 2022 Delaterra 292 MK. That MK stands for Mid Kitchen. I hope you guys are having a good day. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful here at RV Nation out in Ohio. And I've got an awesome camper for you. So today I'm going to take you on probably about 10 or so minutes here on the inside, a couple moments on the outside, really show you some things that I like about this camper. If you guys are interested in the specifications, things like weight, awning size, you know, all that good stuff, you will find that down in the description under specifications. Also, if you are in the market or curious on pricing, you'll also have my contact information down there as well. I am a salesperson here at RV Nation, so I would love the opportunity to talk to you. But again, it's the 2022 Delaterra 292 MK. And the first thing that I notice, you know, when I walk in this is one, you know, obviously the MK is kind of pointed out. So you got the mid kitchen right there, but it kind of has like a fifth wheelless you know, type setup here. You have tons of space with two absolutely massive, uh, you know, slides running down the entire length of this, you know, kind of dining room, kitchen, you know, living room, hangout area. And it has a ton of walking space, which is pretty unique, you know, in campers. Usually you get, you know, one slide or the other, or one smaller than the other. But this has a ton of walking space, as you can see right here. And even the island doesn't really, you know, get in the way. It kind of actually separates it. It partitions it off. It makes two separate little areas, which I like. But plenty of space on both sides. I love the floor decorations that they're using. Uh, just a really sharp camper. And when you're starting to get into camping and you don't want to spend, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 on a travel trailer, this is the brand that has probably the most bang for your buck, you know, on my lot. And we carry 60 different brands. So pretty darn cool. With these big slides, you're also gonna notice you have these big open windows, which I'm a huge fan of. If you're at the campground, you know, why would you wanna miss out that scenery when you're inside, whether it's cooking here at this island kitchen, or if you're just chilling, sitting, relaxing, having some breakfast, you know, getting that view there is really important. They are also tinted, which is nice. Not all travel trailer brands do that, so that's definitely something to point out. And they all also have, you know, some shades, which, although it doesn't really completely block out, you know, everything, uh, it really blocks out enough so where you can still get your Dracula on, you know, and keep some uh, some nosy eyes, you know, off your back. This is going to be the dinette. I've had a lot of people that requested seeing it in the sleeping mode. So today I set it up so that way you can see it as if it was the sleeper. Now, obviously, you're going to see there's two little blank spots right there. That is for the backrests, you know, right there and there with the table. And it's got some little legs that you can prop up. On this side, you're also going to have, you know, some pull-out storage which is nice it is on rollers uh, so you don't have to worry about it you know a lot of them will just come out in just solid wood just right there on the ground so that's a pretty cool feature to have two usb ports that way you can charge your devices while you're hanging out on your recliners so i love that it's not the theater seating individual recliners which is always a plus another thing that i like is the flooring right there now i know everyone complains about carpeting you know, but there is a good reason for it. it. It's a flush mount slide, so you have to have that carpet there to kind of guard it, you know, for keep it from any type of scratching. But that gives you just a little bit more height. And in a travel trailer, that's not overwhelmingly tall. You know, it's not a fifth wheel. You only have so much head height. It gives you just a couple inches, you know, from top to bottom, which is always a perk. We swing it around here through the back. You're going to have a pull-out bed, which comes out... Um, you know, to a, about a queen, I would presume. Let me see here. Actually, I haven't even checked this one out. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be the one that pulls out to a queen. So it's going to come out to about right here. So although this 292 MK is traditionally more of a couple's coach, you do have the ability to sleep, you know, one to two here. And then one to two here, depending on, you know, the size. Obviously, if it's adults, maybe not so much. But two kids, absolutely. On either side of the couch here, you're going to have counter space along with outlet, USB, outlet, and USB. So that's pretty neato. You also have storage like this on both sides. Window, 
and window, and then obviously your massive back window as well. And then here up above, you have storage that runs all the way through from wall to wall. So you get plenty of extra space. They just kind of snuck away. You know, it's always a perk. Right across from the recliners, naturally they went ahead and put the TV. You could probably fit in a little bit of a larger TV, not too much, but this is a 39-inch Furion HD LED TV. You got a little counter space right there, whether it's a PS4, 5, Xbox, DVD player, whatever you're putting, you got space for it. You also got a little bit more storage there up above. Your Furion sound system, that way you can get some tunes bumping. Zone 1 and 2, that's going to be inside, outside. I'll show you the speakers on the exterior here once we get to that portion. But also you have your Greystone fireplace. So if you're not familiar with what this is, uh, it's basically a fancy, you know, space heater. The thing has a setting that goes up to 100 degrees. It is absolutely no joke. It gets roasting. You can make this thing real sweaty, you know, in a hurry. So they didn't have too <coughs> I don't know what happened there. My screen for Rosa Rooney'd. So we are back. But anyway... You got this really nice storage space right here, which as you can see, you know, really nice way to utilize that space. Otherwise, you know, that foot and a half or so, you know, would be wasted or just added counter space, not really adding too much value to the camper. Plenty of counter space leading up to your oven with the three stove top burners and of course the Magic Chef oven. Three of these little pullouts right there. This is going to have all your welcoming packets, you know, manuals, all that. Bada bing, bada boom, a ton of storage. Got your microwave, not too much to say about that. We all know what those are, and if you don't, I don't think you're buying a camper anyway. Got these nice little dangly lights, nice little added fancy touch. Yeah, that's enough for that. You got a little cubby with some storage. Single stainless steel undermounted bowl with a high-rise faucet. You can also pull this out so that way you can whoosh, 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 do dishes from all sorts of different angles. Any angle you want, really. Underneath here, you got some access to the plumbing and plenty of storage. Whew, it is getting hot out. So you know the insulation on these bad boys work. You got the 12 volt uh, refrigerator. So if you're not familiar with 12 volt refrigerator, it's basically an electric refrigerator, it runs off your battery, you know, your car, solar, all that good stuff. Um, but you know, it's important. It doesn't have propane, so you don't have to worry about any safety hazards when you're going through tunnels. It is also um, easily, easily more effective. You know, the freezer section We'll actually keep stuff frozen and the refrigerator will keep it nice and cool but some of those you know rv refrigerators the gas and propane you got to worry about them if there's heat on that side you know the sun you know to start to uh start to actually warm up in there i'm having allergies out the wazoo got my freaking right ears clogged i can hardly breathe and blowing snot out all over time it's a uh, rough day selling but you know we'll get through it here you got this little countertop. Yeah, just a little countertop. A little extra place to put, store a couple things. You also have an outlet. Your switch, your dramatic control for your heat and AC. Oh, you did? All right, cool. I'll give him a call. Thank you. Slide out one and two and your awning all in one control panel. You got your interior lights and your awning lights. Water pump, water heater. And then you have your bathroom. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of this bathroom. I am a bigger guy myself. You can actually sit down and do your thing. Um, you know, really, and no worries for that. If you would like even more space, you could probably even angle that further that way. Um, but you have a really nice size shower. So, you know, it's not overly cramped when you get in there. Tons of TED space, especially when you take into account you got that little sunroof right there. You got a fan so you can suck out the stink or the steam. Plenty of, uh, of storage space right there. Got yourself a little sink, brush your teeth in. Tons of storage and access to your plumbing. You got some more outlets. Hello. But pretty cool little floor plan. I'm a big fan of this uh, 
this brand in general, not only do I sell a lot of them, so, you know, it's a pretty good amount of uh, my income and my business, but, um, you know, they're also, they're nice, man. I mean, compared for the price, even things that I sell, you know, up against, it's hard to beat these. You get into the bedroom, pretty typical for a bedroom. You know, you got your, uh, you got some pullout drawers there. You also have some hanging items that you can stuff, you know, in here if you would like with a little bar storage there up above and you got two little nooks behind the bed uh, but then on this side you have some outlets windows you can see here but you have usb and then usb and outlet there below right here's where we're going to be where you could put a tv outlet cable satellite all that good stuff another area right here just for some wind circulation an emergency exit here on this side then you got yourself a little cubby and then another little closet for you know some more hanging items but i think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion uh, again this was the 2022 della terra 292 mk uh, by east to west a subdivision of forest river i hope you guys like it so far i mean if you guys are interested or looking my contact information is down in the description and if you're just here for a video, I hope you guys enjoyed enough for a little like, subscribe, maybe even a comment. But now I'm going to go outside, do a quick little run around, only a couple minutes here on the outside. But um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Look at those clouds. It's like a little cloud break. It's just so good looking today. All right, so you got yourself your pass-through storage right here. That's going to be your hand crank in case anything goes uh, goes on if you need them. Manual stabilizing jacks. Well, we froze up one more time, but you got your manualizing stabilizing jacks. Those are act manualizing. Shoo! Manual stabilizing jacks, uh, which are a lifting jack, which is a little bit nicer, you know, to have than even your power stabilizers. So that's pretty good. Furion sound system there on the outside. So you got some really nice speakers here, but that's where that's going to be your zone two. You also have a place where you can do your satellite and, you know, your outlets. You got a pretty good size awning with the LED lights running underneath. This is a dual axle travel trailer. And the nice thing about this, if you would like, is there is enough room where you could add a slide topper on top of the slide. If you're not familiar with that, those are... It's basically a guard that runs from here to here, you know, with the canvas in between. So that way it prevents, you know, sun, water, tree branches, you know, everything like that, um, that could potentially, you know, close and damage that seal and create a water issue. Those run you $700 a piece. You have your LP quick connect right under here. So it's going to be right there. So you can hook up a grill that's going to be connected to your propane tanks bumper with the spare tire. And this camper does come backup camera ready. $550 installed allows you to see what's going on behind you while you are driving down the road. That's where you plug in the camper. Also looks like you got yourself a little spray port right there. Hook up a hose, your black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And then the back end of the uh, pass through storage is also going to be your docking station, you know, where you have your battery disconnect, city water, a couple more outlets, cable, satellite, and another spray port, you know, right there. So really cool camper. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2022 Delta 292 MK. See ya.